So you're going to be the starting center. Uh, yes. You're a sophomore. How do you feel about the team? Uh, I think we're looking good. We're looking good. We're getting back in the groove of things, and I think you know it should be a good tournament. The um, obviously he puts you through the paces. You guys, the biggest thing here is this is a running team, right? <laughs> yes. So you just basically try to tire out the other team. Right. Right. You know. And how about you? How are you doing? I'm good. What are your thoughts? Now you're a junior this year. I'm a senior. Senior. Okay. So <laughs> last year was uh, was a good year. The year before was better. What are your thoughts for this season? Um. We're a young team and we're not as tall, but we're really scrappy and I think we can do really well. You covering each other's backs? Yes. All right, always. good luck this weekend. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. I'm with Lamar Kaufman, uh, basketball coach at Catholic. Lamar, you've had, uh, this is what, your 36th season now? My 32nd start 30, here. Okay, second. You've got about 745 wins, two state titles, uh, 12 district three championships, and 10 league champions. What's the secret to your success? The players that I coach learn to discipline themselves according to my criteria with nobody making a rebuttal as saying I don't want to do this coach I want to do that coach they bought into what I wanted to do and I think once we became successful it was easy for them to buy into what we wanted to do here. they see what other and, people have done they say I can important. do it too yeah what, what what makes a great athlete at Catholic basketball okay you had for my style of basketball you had to be able to run the court and they know that there's one or two players here that are nice kids okay fundamentally aren't bad, but they can't run the court. So if depressing. you can't run, you're not playing for Catholic. You're not going to play in coach. Right. You're not going to do the press again. And then the parents get upset, you know, that, you know, why doesn't my daughter get in? Well, basically, because you can't run the court. When do I put her in? Right. At what point? Now, so I, I don't want to be able to take people off the bench because they can run the court. It's going to change the course of the game. There's one of the games that we're going to come out and we're flat and I said, hey, I need somebody to change it. Mary, you come in and change it for me. Right. So what do you think of this team this year? How are you feeling? I'm not so happy with them right now in, in terms of their team aspect. They're doing a lot of good individual work, but they're, they're not uh, covering, let's say, the, not a good word, they're not covering the faults of the other person. You right. need to pick the other guy up and say, hey, do what you have to do, I'm here. I'm here to give support. Right. And I think they want to do it, but that's something I need to teach them. They have, I haven't taught them yet to be receptive to say, hey, we need to do this change, this change, mm -hmm. this change. They the look ball, athletic, though. The ball's in this court, this situation happens, I need to know what what I need to do. Right. We're not at that point yet. So when point do you realize, yeah, they're starting to get it now? When do you expect them to kick in gear, so to speak? By the time you get league play? Yeah, by the time you get league play. So and what do you have, about five to ten games yeah. uh, off the league? and yeah, then About five, so I guess six or seven. And yeah. then the league's by the time league? We open, we open with a, a tough schedule, goes around Hemfield uh, tournament, and we open with Central Dolphin. That's a good matchup. Good they matchup. lost two players, though. Lost two players. And I understand there's a player that we played freshman, freshman ball with them that changed your mind not to come out oh, too bad. because of her other sports. She's good in field right. hockey or something like that. Is that a problem uh, with, with some athletes? Yes. Uh, do you uh, find Ver that? Veronis did that. Right. She's a tennis player. Right. Not too many, not too many. You know. Well, you've had a great career, and um, good luck this season. We'll see you Saturday night. And one of the reasons, quickly, one of the reasons why I stayed around so long, okay, they say, you know, I'm 76. You know, what are you doing so coaching? That's the best time of my life. I feel great when I'm coaching. I like this. I like this stress. I forget. I, I forget that I have sinus problems and things like that. That, that all it's goes fabulous. away. And yeah. be, you feed off the young kids too. Yeah, great which is kids. Great. Yeah, kids this is a great school. And the kids are very respectful, respectful, and very receptive to what we want to do. They do seem to listen to you. Yep. Nice. Congratulations, coach. Okay.